What's going on guys, it's Orp here, bringing you guys another commentary, and today we have a 65 kill game on map Instinct, um, this is like my first day playing the game I believe, I just had it kind of saved on my hard drive because I thought it was a decent gameplay, because somebody told me back um, that 70 kills was good, but that was like the first day of the game. So this is my first day playing, it was like 4 or 5 days after release, I got the game late because I was on vacation, um, I was in Disneyland um, until like November like 7th or something like that, so I, f I had to wait a while to play the game. And uh, that was one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had to wait like four or five days past um, while you're in like, vacation or something like that because it's one of the worst like feelings ever. It may seem like really nerdy or like really weird, but like trust me, it's one of the worst feelings. Like I wasn't even into Call of Duty the last like three months of Ghost. Um, I was playing CS:GO and I was doing other things, and. Even with the Call of Duty, I didn't even like the look of it when I saw this game of it. I was like, oh, there's jetpacks and stuff like that. Like, it just seems dumb. And I wasn't even that excited to get this game. But still, like, being, like, six hours away from home and seeing everybody tweet on Twitter about how, like, excited they were for this game and all this stuff like that and, like, how good it is and all this, all the things people were saying about the game, like, and I was sitting there. Um, obviously on vacation, which is nice, but I was just sitting there, just had to watch them talk and complain and do all the things about the new Call of Duty that everyone does. And it was one of the hardest, like, feelings, uh, hardest things to experience. Like, I don't know, this is so hard because I've been playing Call of Duty since MW2. Um, I've been getting the game, I think, every single day on release since then, I think? I don't know. I might have gotten one for Christmas, like Black Ops 1 for Christmas, something like that, because I wasn't very into the game back then. But anyways, that's not really what I wanted to talk about. That's way past... Um, today I want to talk about something that's kind of more serious, in a sense, it's not really, I mean, it, it could be serious, but it's something that, like, everyone can really relate to at some point or some time, um, I think, at least, I don't know of anybody that just, like, automatically just, one huge just grows immediately and didn't start off at the bottom, basically what I want to talk about is egos, and then after, the, after I talk about egos, um, I want to talk about something about Call of Duty Ghost, and uh, you probably will only understand if I'm what I'm talking about if you play competitive, but that's for uh, in a couple minutes from now because this gameplay is pretty long. Not um, it's probably like eight minutes long, so I've quite a bit to talk about. But basically, um, if you guys know in the Call of Duty community, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people. There's people that have small numbers of followers, big numbers of followers, big subscribers, big Twitch channels. There's other people that are really good at the game. There's other people that are bad at the game. You know, that's just how it is for everything. Um, but basically, if you guys don't know what an ego is, it's kind of... I don't really know how to like explain it. Um, don't quote me if the way I explain this is a bit wrong, but this is the way I interpret what an ego is. Basically, it's you thinking... Not you, but it's the person thinking that they're better than somebody else because A, they have more followers, or B... They just all out are more arrogant and think that they're just better than them. They don't want to waste their time with that person. And obviously it's understandable if you're playing for money and you don't want to waste your money because you're playing with somebody you don't know or they are bad. They've done bad in the past. Like that's understandable. You can ego them for that. Like they, they deserve that. They, you don't know them or they've lost you money in the past. And money is something that people take really seriously especially in the call of duty community whether it's five dollars ten dollars it doesn't really matter um people take it really serious and a lot of people don't want to waste their money with people they don't know or people that are considered quote-unquote bad or have done bad in the past but basically the way i look at it and i didn't really look at it at it this way until i started getting better at the game um back in the black ops 2 and ghost and stuff like that i wasn't the best player like i really wasn't i didn't know many people. I used to look up to a lot of people in the community. I used to ask for chances and stuff like that. And I'm telling you guys, if you don't be that guy that asks for chances every single day, just it's. I'm just saving you guys the time now. No, no person that you want to play with. And if you ask them 10, 20 times a day, or maybe five times a day, like they, it's not going to make them want to play with you anymore. It's going to make them want to play with you less, and they're going to keep making excuses. They're going to keep ignoring you, and it's never going to work out good. Basically, what I did, um, I didn't get egoed by everybody, but I did get egoed by some people that were a lot better than me, and it kind of made me like feel like I was a worse player than I really was, and I can definitely relate to some of you. I mean, I've egoed people before just basically off the fact that I don't want to lose money. Like, 
and I know it sounds really bad, like, oh, you're egoing somebody over a video game, like, that's pretty pathetic, but, like, it's hard to, like, put it my into words how, like, it's hard, it's hard to really explain this topic, but basically, don't be that guy that really asks to play with somebody all the time, don't pay to play with people, guys, don't be a credit, it's, it's not gonna get you anywhere, if anything, yeah, you, maybe you'll start being able to play with good people, but... After that, you're going to always be known as a creddy. You're going to be known as somebody that pays for people. And it, that's just not a good route to take either. Basically, what you guys want to do, which is what worked for me, and I'm still not the most known person in the game. I'm not the best player in the game. But I've won tournaments. I've won money off the game. I've made a 1000 or more dollars off Call of Duty from Competitive COD. So, I mean, I can kind of give you guys um, my opinions on this. Basically, what I did was I would use that anger and that kind of like not really sorrow but kind of the anger towards the person that egoed me and i would use that as motivation to prove them wrong to prove them like yeah you you fucked up you didn't you didn't pick me up you didn't play with me and then i use that motivation to get better at the game so eventually one day i'll play that person and i'll shit on them take their money and basically doing that guys going to bed every night saying i want to be the best whether it doesn't matter if it's call of duty it doesn't matter if it's sports whatever it is maybe good grades if you go to bed with that motivation and that drive to be the best and you want truly truly want to be the best it will happen that that's just how things work that's just how the universe is made like the law of attraction and all that stuff that's just how this word is world is if you think oh i'm not gonna do this it's never gonna happen it's not gonna happen it's it, that's just how the world works and if you really truly think and you're in your mind and you know for a fact you can become one of the best you will because it doesn't matter if it's going to take a year two years three years it will eventually happen if you keep grinding and a lot of people in the quality community have understood that concept and have like kind of uh, used it to an advantage and that's why they're as successful and as good as they are at the game today um took me a couple years to realize this um just for call of duty competitive call of duty wise but it's definitely hard to come um, to use that motivation it's gonna make you feel depressed that people aren't gonna play with you it's just that's just how this community is it's really really difficult it's unfair i'm not saying i agree with people egoing people i do it myself which is i feel bad about it every single time i do it but that's just how the community is guys it's not gonna change but basically that's all i have to say about egos um, the other thing I had to talk about was the term ghoster. Um, that term kind of got on my nerves a lot at the end of um, at the end of Ghost, and people were saying, "Oh, ghoster and all this," but you guys aren't gonna understand the term if you guys if you guys know competitive Call of Duty, you know what I'm talking about. But if you guys don't know competitive Call of Duty, you'll have no idea. But basically, a ghoster was somebody that's only good at Ghost. That means they're not good at Black Ops Two. They're not good at any CODs. They're only good at Ghost. And people were saying, like, oh, just because they're good at Ghost, they're going to be terrible at AW. That makes, honestly, that makes no sense. There's, since the game's been out for two weeks now, there's actually quite a few quote unquote ghosters that are good at AW. Because what people were saying was that, like, oh, if you're good at Ghost, you're not going to be good at AW. But that doesn't make any sense. How can somebody that's good at a game be terrible at another Call of Duty, but somebody that's bad at an easy game be good at a hard game? If you guys understand what I'm saying. Because Ghost was an easy game. It really was. It didn't take much skill. It was only two bullets to kill. All you had to do run around was pre-aim. And I just don't understand why people were saying like, oh, it's so, if you are if you were bad at Ghost, you're going to be good at AW. But if you were good at Ghost, you're going to be bad at AW. Like, that doesn't really make any sense. It just got on my nerves. I just had to say that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary about egos. Uh, remember to use that motivation and you guys can be something good. All right, peace out, guys.